So, uh, good afternoon. Uh, thanks for coming to this daily digital micro webinar. Uh, the micro webinars are a series of short uh, webinars that we run from the digital skills team uh, that provide some useful digital skills, hints and tips here at Cardiff Met. So uh, my name's Chris Carter. I'm one of the digital skills developers here. And um, this session is going to be looking at how we can use a, a software called Canva uh, for pr uh, presentations and designs online. So I'm going to give you guys a quick demonstration lasting about 10, 15 minutes or so. And then at the end of that, if there's any questions at all, uh, please feel free to, to ask away then. OK, so first question, what is Canva? Now, I, I know Canva has been around for a while. Uh, myself, I hadn't heard about it uh, up until a couple of weeks ago myself, so I'm still fairly new to it. And I've been impressed with uh, with how well it works. So Canva. It's basically a, a, a free to use uh, graphic design platform. And uh, it's really good for making uh, quite a variety of, um, oh, one second, there we go. It's really good for making a variety of uh, graphic design based items. So um, it gives you templates for social media posts like for Instagram or Twitter. It gives you templates to make YouTube videos. Uh, it gives you templates for educational worksheets, quizzes, slide presentations. Um, you know, infographics, photo albums. It can even do um, limited websites as well. So it's a really uh, versatile bit of software, but crucially, it's very easy to pick up and use. So the software itself is accessible either via a browser, and um, you can work within browser for this, or you can download an app as well. And the app is available for desktop or tablet or mobile. So you can do either method. Um, I've been using the browser version myself. That's what I'm going to show you today. But as, as I understand it, there's not a vast amount of difference between, um, between the two different versions. Canva itself uses a drag and drop interface. So it's very, very simple and straightforward to get into. Um, it's, uh, it's not overly complicated. It does mean that as a result of that, you can't do some of the more complex things that you would do um, in like more dedicated software like Photoshop or Illustrator, that sort of thing. But uh, it is very, very, very straightforward and ultimately easy to use and pick up. And the great thing about it as well is that even if you've got no um, photo editing experience or graphic design experience, uh, it still lets you um, dive into that very quickly and uh, that, that doesn't hold you back, which is absolutely great. So let's have a look at how you can actually access Canva. There we go. So you access Canva quite simply by going to canva.com. When you go to the website, um, you can either uh, work directly with them at browser or there's links there that'll let you download the application itself. So once you signed up for uh, a Canva account, It'll look a little bit like this. So when you first log in, you'll have your, your main home menu. And you've got the option of a, a free to use account, which is great. It gives you plenty to play with there. There are paid versions as well that give you access to more features and greater amounts of interactive tools. But the, the free version itself is still very, very good and offers, uh, offers a lot of content. Um, we don't know how long that free version will last for, so it's not obviously a, a long-term solution, but it is definitely something that's worth <clears throat> that's worth playing around with. Now, as we're in Cardiff Met, um, because we've got our .ac.uk email addresses, uh, you are eligible to sign up for an educator's license for this, um, or for a student's license for this. And you'll see on my particular um, login here, um, I've got an education uh, license there. So that's quite handy. It does give you access to some more features that you wouldn't normally get in the free version. And you'll see that the, all the suggestions across here for my templates, they're all very much education based. So it does sort of cater more for an education kind of slant um, when you use that account. You'll also see when you do sign up, you'll have the option of adding uh, little groups or teams. And with the education version, that gives you uh, classes. So you've got uh, a class section down here. Classwork is where you'll uh, store any files you want to create for your class. And then the class itself, it's very similar to a group in Teams. Uh, you can put posts in here, you can have files in here, and you can add specific people as well by, via an invite link. 
So you can you know, treat this as a sort of like a, a mini teams in a way. So let's have a look at how some of the designs uh, work within Canva. So I'm going to go back to my home page. And from my home page here, across this top bar, these are all the different types of templates uh, that I've got access to. And there's a surprising number of these. There are templates for pretty much anything and everything. So, um, for example, uh, you've got presentation templates. You can do uh, like, like PowerPoint style uh, shows. You've got social media templates, so you can do quick photographs or Instagram, Facebook, uh, stories. There's setup templates for all of these things. Videos, you can even do print products. So if you wanted to make mugs or T-shirts or calendars, you can make that from here and you can actually pay to get them printed and sent out to you. So you can get physical products from this as well. Uh, and you can do more office based items. So you can do planners, reports, resumes. Uh, there's a vast amount of templates and they're all really easy to use. And the great thing about the templates as well is that it's the same template editor across all of them. So once you can do one template, you can pretty much work any of them. So as an example, let's say I wanted to make a background for my team's um, video feed. As you can see, I'm currently in my attic. It's not that um, dramatic, it's not that exciting. So if I did want to do a, a Teams background, I can make one from here. So if I type in Teams into the search bar, you can see one of the templates here is a Microsoft Teams background. So to start with, it'll give you the option of working from a completely blank template if you want to. And once you know what you're doing with Canva, that's great for getting you know, a very, very precise, personalized uh, background. But you can also work from loads of different templates. So let's say, for example, I wanted to use, um, let's see, let's pick, let's pick this one. Let's go for the beach theme. Once you've got a template loaded, the main difference between templates is simply the size of the template. So this is formatted for a Microsoft Teams um, size. But if you wanted to then change the size of your template and maybe use this for a mobile phone background or use it for an Instagram post or use it for a, a YouTube video, you can simply go to the resize button up here in the top. And when you click the resize button, that will let you then change one template into another template. So you could swap it over to an infographic. You could swap it over to a flyer or a resume. So once, you're, once you've got a template started, you can always resize it and, and, and make it into a different template if you want to. Once you've got a template rolling, uh, you can move all the elements around. It looks quite static, but you can simply click and drag any element on the page. And as you move these elements around, you can resize them using the corner handles. And you can rotate them using the bottom rotation button. And because these are all bits of vector based artwork, you've got the color palette for each element up in the top corner here. So you could, if you wanted to, just change the colors of these elements as well. And that works for elements where there's more than two colors. So like this bucket and spade, for example, I could take that. And you could change these elements and add the colors to them however you want to. So you've got a lot of um, uh, a lot of flexibility for moving these things around and, and, and um, updating them. You can also change the text. So you can simply click the text. You can double click in there. You can type in whatever information you need to type in there. So you can do that. You can then change the font by clicking up in the font area here. So you've got a load of different fonts that you can use. And there's quite a lot of very, uh, very fetching looking fonts here, which is quite nice. You can still use bold and italic with a lot of the fonts, same as you would um, in Word. And you can, of course, change the font color as well. And the same as any other element, you can drag and make the fonts bigger or smaller and also rotate also. So once you've got a template started, you can move it around and change it up as much as you need to. And um, you can group elements together. So you've got text here that's grouped with this pink background. And there's an ungroup button up here in the top right. I can then ungroup elements. 
and then move them around separately if you wanted to, or you can group them back together. So it's a really straightforward method of moving any, any items around the page. If you don't like a particular template that you've picked, you can just quickly grab another template from the templates bar and you can replace it. Or you can add it as another page if you go to do like presentations or multiple page documents. If you're starting from scratch, you can use the elements menu along the along the sidebar here and you can put in different shapes. And again, they're all treated the same way. It can be rotated, they can be resized, they can be recolored. And you've got loads of different elements you can use, circles, squares, lines, um, polygons. They're really, really handy. You've also got a set of graphics you can use, like grids or wavy lines or you know, pen marks. There's also free to use photography provided because um, uh, Canva is part of the same group that owns uh, Pexels and Pixabay. So there's free to use photography on here as well. And if you're doing presentations, there's also some free to use video you can also incorporate into your presentations or your you know, newsletters or whatever you're making. If you're going to do infographics and charts, uh, I've got uh, an example one here. Ooh, where's that gone? Back to my home menu. I've got my designs here. So I've got a infographic I've been working on. And if you need to zoom in, you've got the slider at the bottom to let you zoom in and see a little more clearly. And the infographics are really handy. You can just click on any element and update them. So I'm using this graphic here to show how many people attended a meeting. You can increase using sliders the number of people and how many of those people actually attended. So you can change your data around and you can adjust it very simply and you can change the graphic design very simply as well. So all these different elements uh, give you a lot of uh, flexibility. If you wanted to, you could upload your own de uh, details. So if you wanted to have, for example, uh, the Cardiff Met logo, I've already got that saved uh, from a previous upload. I can drag that from my image library and I can place the Cardiff Met logo on here as a, you know, as a graphical element. You can add your own text. You can either add um, headings or subheadings. You can just click them and that will add them to the page. And then you can adjust them as you need to. Or you've got preset text you can use as well. So you can use any of these text styles. You can drag those in. And you can double click it. And you can actually type in your own text if you want to. So plenty of scope for really good, easy to use designs. Another element I quite like on this is if you're doing presentations, you can also use some interactive uh, um, elements as well. So for example, under the more icon down the bottom, you've got some other content here. You've got Google Maps, for example. You can actually click on the Google Map. You can type in an area. So I'll put in King Coid, for example, and search that. And I can then drag this map onto the presentation. And to start with, it'll just be a, a blank image or a, a static image. But then you can double click it and it'll actually become interactive and usable as an actual map with all the satellite imagery and so on. So if you're making PowerPoints or presentations for people uh, and you want to have a bit of interactivity in there, you can do this sort of thing as well. Once you've um, completed whatever document you want to make, you've then got the option to either share that presentation using uh, email invitations, or you can actually download that document and it'll give you a suggested format for it, depending on the template. So you can download as a still image, you can download as video if you've got moving graphics in there, um, or it'll give you the option to download as, as animated GIFs. And you can also change the size of the document. So you can make the document bigger by you know a couple of percent, or you can make the document smaller. And then once you download it, and then it'll go into your downloads folder on your computer. And then, of course, just you're free to use it wherever you need to. So um, that's a really quick run through of um, of Canva and how we can actually and how it can work there. So uh, as I say, it's um, accessible via Canva.com, and um, 
I'll go ahead and unmute everyone's mics now. And so does anybody have any questions? If you do, feel free to um, open up your microphones uh, or pop any questions in the chat. <laughs> 